हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस वीडियो पार्ट सेवन एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन रेशियो नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज इन कवरिंग ए सर्टेन डिस्टेंस द स्पीड ऑफ ए एंड बी आर इन रेशियो थ्री इज टू फोर राइट सो स्पीड रेशियो इज गिवन स्पीड रेशियो इज गिवन ए इज टू बी इज थ्री इज टू फोर ए टेक्स थर्टी मिनट्स मोर देन बी टू रीच द डेस्टिनेशन then the time taken by a to reach the destination is so they have given the data in terms of a speed and then they are asking the data in terms of time right so what we will do we know the formula d is equals to st and when distance is fixed or when distance is constant then your speed will become inversely proportional to time or speed is inversely proportional to time or time is inversely proportional to a speed so if a speed ratio is if a speed ratio is given as 3 is to 4 then the time ratio will become 4 is to 3 right see the reason is we can understand from here is if your speed is less then you will take more time and if your speed is more then you will take less time so that is the only reason when you will convert time uh, speed in terms of time it will become ulta 3 is to 4 and here it will become 4 is to 3 right now i can also write like this time of a and time of b is equals to 4x or 4t and 3t why we can write it like this because this time when it is given in terms of ratio and if you want to write in terms of value then we can very well write time of a is equals to 4x and time of b is equals to 3x anywhere in terms anywhere in question of ratio when the value is given in ratio then we can easily write in the terms of value now please read the question a takes 30 minutes more than b that means time of a minus time of b is equals to how much time 30 minute a is taking 30 minute more because speed of a is less right see here now time of a is equals to 4 of t minus 3 of t is equals to 30 minute if you will convert it to hour we have to divide it by 60 so it will become 1 by 2 so 4t minus 3t is equals to t is equals to 1 by 2 right now they are asking the time taken by a to reach the destination so what is the value of a so the value of a is equals to 4 into t and what the value of t we have got 4 into 1 by 2 that is nothing but 2 hours so our answer will be 2 hours A and B start the journey at the same time with the speed of 40 km per hour and 50 km per hour. So a speed of A and a speed of B is given as 40 km per hour and 50 km per hour, right? Okay. If in covering the journey A takes 15 minutes longer than or more than B, then the total distance of the journey is right see data is given in the terms of time right if in the covering the journey a takes 15 minutes longer than b so i can also write from here is a speed of a is to a speed of b is nothing but 40 is to 50 or i can also write 4 is to 5 right and if i have to write in the terms of time then what will be the ratio the ratio will be 5 is to 4 because we know d is equals to st and if d is constant then a speed will become inversely proportional to time so if a speed ratio is 4 is to 5 then time ratio will be 5 is to 4 if the speed is less then it will take more time if the speed is more then it will take less time right now the value of ta and tb we can write 5t and 4t right when it is given in terms of ratio then we can write in terms of values also now in covering the journey a takes 15 minutes longer than b that means t of a minus t of b is equals to 15 minutes now t of a is equals to what 5t so 5t minus 4 of t is equals to 15 minute if we we'll write in the terms of hour then it will become 15 by 60 and this will be 1 by 4 now t is equals to 1 by 4 yes or no now distance will be what distance will be a speed into time right so we can take either a speed or you can take i uh, or b speed so what is the speed of a a speed of a is equals to 40 right and what will be the time see time is nothing but time of a is 5t so 5 into t is what 1 by 4 
and this will be nothing but 4 into 10 and 10 into 5 is 50 kilometer and C will be your answer right. So this is easy to understand I will explain you once more see the value of time we got now D is equals to ST. So let's consider A part. So what is the speed of A? So a speed of A is equals to 40 and what is time of A? So time of A is nothing but 5T right. So 5 into what is the value of T? So the value of T we have got 4. So we will get the answer as 50 right. If it's the same thing we can do with for the B also. So distance is equals to speed into time. So what is the speed of B? 50 and what is the time of B? 40 4 into what is T? T is 1 by 4. 4 and 4 will get cancelled and the answer will be 50 kilometer right.